Next up, I want to talk about Eddie Jones. Oh, Eddie Jones has now decided to step outside of Australia rugby. He said, yo, y'all, I'm out. Deuces. Here's the fire I leave behind for you. Take this kindling light. Take that. Take that. Take that. <laughs> oh, man. Can I tell you how this has been one that I think we've been watching for almost since September? It's been like a month. So basically what has happened is that Eddie Jones uh, stepped down and is allegedly heading over to Japan to take over as a rugby head coach for them. Now, if you don't know, Eddie Jones used to be the head coach for um, South Africa in 2019. Um, no, in, uh, yeah, it, uh, not, not for South Africa. I'm sorry for Japan. Yeah. In 2019, where he helped them get into past the quarterfinals into the semifinals, they ultimately lose South Africa and then continue South Africa would continue on to win. But Eddie Jones was the one that was supposed to be like creme de la creme when it came with it, you know? Oh no, no, I'm tripping. Not 2019. I'm sorry. 2015, the 2015 year. 2019, he was with England, but he helped Japan basically kind of get over the hump. And I think that was one of the reasons they have now officially moved into the tier one and got respected into that realm as well. But uh, Eddie Jones was the is the former is now former Wallabies head coach. He literally started 10 months ago. All right. 10 months ago, he took over the job out of five million five year contract, getting ready for the 2027 Rugby World Cup. The Royal Cup, that is basically the last stand for Australian Rugby Union. If that doesn't go through, that union is broke, all right? Another reason why you don't trust Tier 1 models. They don't work necessarily at all, and it's not necessarily. They don't work. But Eddie Jones came in and is, was expected to be a disruptor. Uh, the head of Australian Rugby Union, who is a former player, not a lot of people really have a lot of respect for this guy. He's had probably one of the worst tenures as a um, – as a president for a rugby union, uh, they sacked their current. Um, they sacked the current uh, 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 head coach Renner. Um, uh, Renner, who was ironically uh, Dave Rennie, Dave Rennie, who was a New Zealander, who was a. a, a coaching for Australia, which also was one of the many reasons why I think Australia wanted to get rid of him. Uh, they did not want to have any more uh, L's to their New Zealand brethren, uh, enough to lose against them, but then to also not be able to have your to have their coach coaching your team. And honestly, Rennie was, I, I, I don't think he was actually good. I think their the program was already going in a downslide. I think it was just a factor that you were watching a downslide happen that was gradually in precision, but a lot of people will say Rennie was actually doing a good job and trying to bring young players in. But honestly, I, I don't think. I think uh, Aussie Rugby Union really was was borrowing from Peter to pay Paul and basically was Ponzi scheming their way into having talent. That's just, we've been playing for a long time. We have a lot of Fijians and Samoans that enter into our area, so we're able to utilize these guys to be able to continue playing some high level of rugby but in reality we're not really actually doing a good job and of course the pandemic showed up Aussie rugby union almost went bankrupt got a 20 million dollar injection by world rugby now they're ahead they're borrowing money to be able to pay it off for the rugby world cup because everybody now after japan assumes that the rugby world cup can be able to bring in five billion dollars in revenue and economic growth uh for your country because in japan that's how much it brought in four billion and then another like one and a half, two billions in economic uh, ripple effect. And so Aussie Rugby Union is like literally sitting on a string. They thought they're going to do something big with Eddie Jones. And it's been a disaster. Number one, Eddie Jones really uh, obviously has been shaky with the media. He was run out of England, um, you know, despite the fact that he England was competitive and they made a semi They made the finals in 2019 versus what they did now. Um, but they ran in Eddie Jones out in England. Eddie Jones was already shaky with the media. Eddie Jones was shaky with veteran players. He didn't pick a lot of key players that would have been, um, should have probably been part of this roster because I think he was trying to prep up for 
2027. So he's using this 2023 Rugby World Cup as a testing ground. But if you're a Wallaby, yo, you don't know testing. This is like this is like Alabama football trying to be like, hey, we're going to ditch a season and not try and make the playoffs uh, because, you know, we want to be able to make the playoffs for next year. You know, when it counts, no, you always keep winning. You know, LSU, and I like that better. You always got to stay winning. So this year, worst historical outcome for Australia. Uh, didn't make the quarterfinals. Lost to Fiji. Uh, close games. Lost to Wales. Like, it it just, it wasn't there. It wasn't their season. Uh, played terribly. I mean, they, they played tough against mediocre team played tough against georgia but you know barely beat them you know it, it's just it was a bad look overall and then midway through they said during the warm-ups eddie jones was already taking talks about talking to japan so we're not even this was in september not even through the middle i don't think we were even we weren't even out of pool play obviously when eddie jones started trying to talk to japan japan is about to get uh their coach for japan stepping down so it, it, this has been an entire just cluster and you know this man who's had uh, look he has a very storied history when it comes to rugby he has been overtly successful but people have now felt like you know maybe his time has passed like people go to over the hill man this is this is uh belichickian sands the um sands the uh uh champion actually i would probably liking eddie jones to Jim Harbaugh, who's coach for Michigan football team. Like, he's a guy that can come in. He can rebuild the program typically. Uh, definitely has taken programs and over-exceeded where they should be able to go. And, uh, you know, this was a situation where I think Australia did. He would have been coming back. But the one thing I will say is that I don't think I saw any single person, who, or at least very few, that were actually Australia rugby fans specifically that were happy about Eddie Jones coming back. And I think that speaks a lot of volumes for what it was. And it probably was a very much a foreshadowing of what this uh, outcome was going to be. So, um, uh, <laughs> uh, Eddie Jones hasn't beaten the Buckeyes. <laughs> Brandon said, actually, you know, Jim Harbaugh actually has beat the Buckeyes uh, twice now, actually. So, uh, yeah, just just remember that. I'm not even a Michigan fan. Don't make me defend Michigan. I don't care about Michigan. I just have to use it as an example. But, like, um, uh, what you call it? Uh, but Eddie Jones is definitely one that now it's it's twilight of his career, but he's controversial. And for me, I like the guy. Um, I mean, he's not great in terms of maybe how this campaign went and how his time in England kind of fell apart, but he's he's – He's going to grab attention on the mic. Uh, he's definitely going to rustle from some feathers, and I think that's always good for rugby. Uh, but you have to win. Uh, if you're going to do all that, you got to win. And uh, unfortunately, in this situation, he hasn't won. He didn't win. So we're going to see. Uh, they said in that same article, and I got this one technically. I mean, it was everywhere about the Guardian and everything like that. But uh, they said in that that he is going to be working with the Barbarians with uh, soon to be future all blacks head coach um what's his name uh um uh uh scott robertson um that uh they're going to be with the barbarians 15s and taking on wales on november 5th oh well, you know next week uh they're going to be taking on wales and then we'll see what happens with uh we're gonna see what happens with Japan, even though it's it's pretty much seems to be a set deal and done. They're probably just working out the numbers. Also, Australia doesn't look like they're going to be doing any buyout for – there's not going to be any buyout for Eddie Jones' contract. I mean, yo, it be like that sometimes, right? <laughs> it be like that sometimes. But moving on, and this <laughs> – it's going to go back. We don't want to do Tier 1 things because Tier 1 is always in the set of trouble. I just said I can't. I said I ain't convinced. Right now, in the city, I black out the tent. Can't stop. 